Hey there, neighbors. I've really enjoyed working through uh, Light in the Dark with you. I hope that that sermon series is, is, is being encouraging and challenging to you. We're going to continue the next step in that this weekend at 1030 on Sunday. Um, but I want to tell you a little bit of a story before I share with you another announcement. It's a little bit um, crazy. So about a year ago, I was praying about our values and, decide, and was thinking that it's one thing to say, we put Jesus first, we trust the Bible, we journey together. It's one thing to say those things. It's another thing to actually live them out. So what are some ways that we can live these values out? And I had an idea for something a little bit off the wall, and I felt so strongly about it that I put it into my calendar. Um, but the more that I thought about it, uh, the more I thought about pulling the trigger on and get it started, the more I thought it's a crazy idea, um, and I talked myself out of it. But I forgot to delete it off of my calendar. So fast forward to January of this year, Jesse's helping me get my mind straight, and uh, she is looking through my calendar. She says, "Hey, what's this thing?" And I tell her, "Oh, that was a crazy idea I had last year. It's never going to work." And she said, "Well, tell me more." Um, and so I told her, and she says, that's not as crazy as you think it is. I think it could be really cool. Maybe you should try it. And I said, no, 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 we're never going to do that. So um, fast forward to two weeks ago, I had lunch with a pastor friend, and as we're talking, I come to discover that uh, not only does, has he had that idea before, but they've built it into the life of their church. And I asked some more clarifying questions, and it seemed really clear, like, this is something that we should try together. So what is it? Um, what I would like for us to try to do is to read through the Bible together, out loud, um, cover to cover. The whole thing. Read through the whole Bible. We can say we trust the Bible, um, but how can we show that we do trust it and we want to honor it? Um, I think that this is a way to do that. So for Holy Week, the week before Easter, starting April 11th, we are going to, over the course of six days, read through the whole Bible cover to cover. Um, and it's not just going to be me reading it. Like I'd like for all of us to participate in this, a community thing. Um, and I'm still working out all the logistical details, but what I've got right now is 30 minute time slots um, starting from 8 a.m. and running until 10 p.m. Um, Monday through Friday and then we should be able to wrap up in two hours on a Saturday maybe have a special like lunch or picnic or something like that to celebrate that this thing uh, got finished so um, yeah I would like to read through the Bible cover to cover out loud together um, will you join me in this crazy idea because I don't think I can get away with not doing it so um, yeah, there's a, there's a link in the description here, or you can go to ocalaneighborhood.church slash Bible, and that'll take you to a sign-up sheet, 30-minute time slot of reading out loud, and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit crazy, uh, but I'm really excited about it, and I hope you'll join me on this adventure. So I look forward to seeing you soon.